Hi, this is Matt with Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. This is a CF20 CMOS replacement. Start off by shutting off your computer if you've not done so already. And then go ahead and remove it from the keyboard base if you have one. Set your base to the side. Since, we're opening, since I'm opening it, I'm going to go ahead and place it on a microfiber rag just so the screen doesn't get scratched up. And then go ahead and remove the back cover plate and then remove the battery. And then go ahead and remove the rear access cover. There's a number of screws holding it down. Just unscrew those screws and set them to the side. I recommend putting the screws in a container to keep them all together or laying them out and labeling where they go one way or another just so you make sure you don't lose any. Once you have that cover off, go ahead and set it to the side. You can remove the internal battery and set it to the side. For this repair, you're going to have to remove the base cover, so you'll have to remove the outer covers as well. You'll need to start with the left and right side. Just go ahead and remove the screws and start removing those cover, those outer edge covers. The corner spring mechanisms tend to fall out when you take that cover off. Just set them to the side. Make sure you don't lose them. The right rear corner needs to come off as well. Corner bumper needs to come off as well. It just pops off. Go ahead and remove the bottom cover that covers up the release switches and the docking connector. Just go ahead and remove the screws and pop it off and set it to the side. Once you have the top cover off, you can go ahead and sit it, get the, there's one screw in the front that's underneath the top cover. You'll need to remove that. And then you can go ahead and sit it back down on the screen. And then the, go ahead and remove all the screws holding the bottom base cover in place.
Once you have all the screws off, remove the cover, set it to the side. And then you should have access to the CMOS battery. There's a little, little piece of tape that covers the cable. So you'll need to lift that up and pull it to the side. Be careful not to tear the wires. And then you can go ahead and disconnect the CMOS battery from the motherboard. And then the CMOS battery is held on with some adhesive. You can take a small flathead and pry it up. Get your replacement CMOS battery. Put it in place. Reconnect it. Tuck the wires in and then put the tape back down. From there, you can put the rear base back on, the rear base bezel back on, and screw it back down. You can go ahead and start putting the outer edge covers back on. I would start with the bottom. Before you screw it in place, make sure you test all the buttons. If it's not sitting in just the right place, the buttons won't click. So sometimes you need to adjust a little bit to get the buttons to click. And once you make sure the buttons click and it's in place, screw it down. And then after you screw it down, I would, I would suggest double checking the buttons to make sure they're still clicking correctly. Like I said, if, they, if it's not on just right, the buttons may not click. So just make sure they, they, they all click well. You can go ahead and put the top edge cover back on and screw it in place. Make sure you put the screw underneath the top cover and then put the, the top cover on and put the screws in.
from there, you can go ahead and put the side covers on. Make sure you put the spring mechanism for the release for the key for the keyboard dock in on each side before you put the sides on. If you start with the side that has the stylus port on it, there is a metal a metal cover that goes underneath the rubber side cover. It goes right in the center, clicks in place. Go ahead and put the cover back on and screw it back back down. Go ahead and put the other side on. Again, make sure you put the spring mechanism in place first before you put the cover on. You can also put the corner bumpers back on. Make sure the side cover clicks in place. It's all lined up. And then you'll also need to put the port covers back on on that side. The port cover door goes on first. And then the mounting bracket goes on over top of it. And then you can screw those in. Once that's back on and screwed back down, you can go ahead and put the rear access cover back on and screw it in place. Before you do that, do remember to plug in the internal battery first. Rear access cover has a spot that it clicks on on the right side that it there's a tab that it goes over top of then it, you can go ahead and screw it back down Once you have all those screws back in place, you can go ahead and insert your battery and put your rear cover plate back on. And then you can go ahead and put it back, put it back in your keyboard base if you have one. If not, you're all done with your repair. 
If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, just let us know. You can send us an email to our tech support email, which is tech underscore support at bobjohnson.com. Or you can give us a call at our toll-free number of 877-202-7788. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.